Alex, we have some great pool weather for Father's Day. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know about you, but every Father's Day, we celebrate my dad by, you know, doing a barbecue, mm -hmm. going out, you know, chilling at the pool. Yeah. That, that's our Father's Day every year. Great outdoor activity weather all across Central Georgia today. Yeah. The heat was still there, but the humidity was down, a little bit of a breeze. That's great. It's actually, it's helping those feels like temperatures. It feels like the low 90s as opposed to the mid 90s this afternoon. Take a live look across downtown Macon right now. Current temperature 92, but like I was just talking about, that east wind here at 7 miles an hour, making it feel like 89 also thanks to that 26 percent humidity out there temperatures across the region we've got 91 in Cochrane, eastman 92 and warner robbins 93 up in milledgeville and 91 down in rochelle nothing to speak of on the radar picture in fact we barely have it, even any clouds out there you've got to go down into florida to find any storms right there south of interstate 10 and then some more as you get down towards tampa and orlando and that's about it and that is thanks to a front that is down to our south this cold front swept through central georgia yesterday it didn't really make our air temperature cold but it did cool it off and usher and some really dry air now high pressure building in across the Ohio River Valley and that is going to bring us some nice weather as we start the week. So let's check it out here on future view dry conditions into the night tonight. Temperatures cooling off down into the low 60s. You saw 60 itself there in Macon waking up tomorrow morning. Here we go at 7 a.m. We're going to warm up fairly quickly once again back into the low 90s, but at least we're not talking about the 100s that we dealt with last week. Give it a few more days and we'll be back to that point on into Tuesday. We go the dry air continues. Notice a few more clouds across the region, not as cool. Tuesday morning as it is Monday morning. Instead, we're looking at mid to upper 60s and then we are back into the upper 90s on Tuesday afternoon, unfortunately. But what you didn't see there were the showers and that's going to continue into Wednesday as well. It's not until about Thursday where we start to introduce a minor rain chance, some more moisture in the area. Notice a few blue and green specks up there on future view. Then into Friday, I think we really pick it back up with high humidity, high temperatures and summertime settling in across central Georgia. The weekend also looking to be on the wet side, at least as of now, but wet in terms of summertime showers and storms. No organized system coming through central Georgia as of now about a 20% chance of rain. Now the dew point is how we measure the humidity and when we have 50s like this that means low humidity. The tropical stuff that dark green is down along the Florida coast as we head into the latter part of the weekend and into next week. 44 degree dew point that will feel nice on Tuesday. Now it's no secret that it's been hot for the month of June. We've had three or four actually 100 degree days, 13 above average days. This entire past week has been above average and it looks like we're going to be continuing that trend. Now the other thing we need is the rainfall officially this month. Here we are 19 days into the month and we've only picked up eight one hundredths of an inch at Macon uh, at the Macon Airport, Middle Georgia Regional. That puts us down nearly two and a half inches of rain so we could use it. Obviously you might have gotten some rain at your house that didn't fall at the airport. 80s tonight for the Macon Bacon game Lexington County County in town sunset is at 845 tonight. The overnight low 63 sunset at 845. Like I just said, 94 tomorrow, low humidity, and it will be much closer to average Tuesday. The first day of summer back to 100 degrees 105 on Wednesday. The humidity slowly building back in as well. Showers and storms Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Connor Hines is back with sports right after this.